There's a little debate around whether dishwashers actually help in saving water, not to mention our water bill, and whether we're better off washing dishes by hand. Indeed, dishwasher vs. hand washing is the predicament many of us have nowadays. Whether you're thinking of purchasing the best dishwasher for your home or simply curious to know how to lower your water bill and live more sustainably. If you want to save energy at home, looking at your large appliances is a good place to start. We've reached out to the experts to get their take on what uses more energy, water, and time so that you can make an informed decision on whether it's better for you to invest in an appliance or some cute zig accessories instead. This all comes down to how modern and energy efficient your machine is, says Elliot Topping. From OVO Energy the Energy Saving Trust worked out that the average running cost of a dishwasher is between PS37 and PS48. $63 a year, and the most energy efficient, a rated models cost around PS7, $9 a year less to run than the lowest rated machines. Slimline dishwashers cost slightly less, at PS23, $30 to PS37, $48 a year. This depends on the machine and how you use it. For instance, if you cohabit with your partner or have a small family, you might think hand washing comes up on top. However, investing in one of the best slimline dishwashers, with an A++ rating, can be better for water efficiency and your energy bills. Some have different temperature settings, others have a delay start so you can take advantage of cheaper evening energy rates and one of our picks can complete a full load in under half an hour. If you have a super energy efficient machine, it will use less water than an old one. And if you cut out the pre-rinse stage in the cycle, you'll save even more water, explains Topping. According to the Energy Saving Trust, and washing dishes makes up 4% of the average household's water use, whereas using a dishwasher uses 3% less, accounting for just 1% of our water bills. It dishwasher water has to be hot, so dishes are cleaned properly, explains Topping. But in terms of energy use, the question is whether the water is hot when it goes in, or if the water is made hot by the machine. If you buy a modern dishwasher, it won't use any of your home's hot water supply. It'll take in cold water, then heat it internally to around 5462 degrees C, 129, 144 degrees. When looking at whether things are environmentally friendly, even eco-friendly cleaning products, we need to assess how good they are for our general health and well-being. Residual food particles can grow all sorts of mold and bacteria on the surface, so it's best to make sure you get rid of all debris making sure the water is hot enough to kill harmful germs that can cause tummy trouble and more. In the UK, first, you've got to factor in the initial cost of the dishwasher, which can range from around piece 170 to well over piece 1000, which might not be an option for everyone, says Topping. When it comes to water and energy use, it depends on your habits. Generally, if you only use your dishwasher once it's fully loaded, it should save you money. Most dishwashers have an eco setting, which will help you save energy and money with minimal effort. A lot of people don't realize their appliances have this function, so it's always worth checking the front of your machine. By switching a dishwasher onto an eco setting, it can save the water used by 20-40% for each clean. And Mark Robson, smart energy expert at British Gas agrees. He says, use the eco setting on your dishwasher. The eco setting heats water more slowly. Using less energy, you get the same results. It just takes a little longer. And washing dishes typically uses a lot more water than a dishwasher, says Mary Hunt, owner of Everyday Cheatscape blog. Unless you could get that sink full of dirty dishes hand washed with soap and rinse with the water running from the tap in fewer than two minutes, it's likely you're using a lot more water than a current automatic dishwasher model requires. And in most cases, a lot more if you pre-rinse, wash, and then rinse again. Because a dishwasher uses less water and less energy to heat the water, this means the carbon footprint of a dishwasher is actually smaller than if you wash by hand, says Topping. Recent studies state 5,620 kgs of greenhouse gases. GHGO produced over a 10-year period from hand washing 32 sets of dishes per week. This comes from the energy used to heat up the water. A dishwasher, on the other hand, emits 2,090 kgs of GHG over the same period. The figures speak for themselves. Hand washing creates over double the amount of GHG as dishwashers and creates about the same carbon emissions as three flights from London to Tokyo. So, can you get away with washing dishes by hand rather than using a dishwasher? Asks Guy Lorenzi, group brand manager. Finish. Well, considering that this sponge plays host to a significant number of germs in the kitchen, including sinister ones like Salmonella and E. coli, 
Using a sponge might not be the best idea. Sponges are exposed to all sorts of food types, and when you combine this with the porous and moist nature of the sponge, it's the perfect environment for germs to grow. Yes, this is the item that you wash the dishes that you eat off. You'll need to regularly replace your sponge to prevent spreading these germs. Your tea towels are just as guilty for harboring nasty germs. So once your dishes are clean, you may be drying them with germ-infested towels. Again, dishcloths are exposed to a lot of water and can remain damp, which is a breeding ground for bacteria. When looking at whether elbow grease or an appliance cleans best, it's all about technique and the tools you have on hand. Therefore, it all depends on a number of different variables. Water type. Where you live can determine how well your dishes are cleaned as you may have hard or soft water. The harder your water, the more likely that calcium and other mineral deposits will be left on your glassware and other eating equipment. This can be remedied by adding dishwasher salt to your machine. Rinse aid. The best dishwasher rinse aids on the market promise to leave glasses sparkling and can also help to remove watermarks lime scale or salt spots. Drying technique, are you team drip dry or team tea towel? Or do you rely on your dishwasher's drying program? All three of these methods may produce different results, but the most eco-friendly one is the one that produces the best outcome, so that you don't end up rewashing your dishes. Well, you've got the best integrated dishwasher kept under wraps or freestanding unit displayed in its full glory. Here's a recap of what you'll need to do to make the cleaning process as eco-friendly as possible. Invest in an energy-efficient machine. If you're buying your own dishwasher from brand new, or even pre-owned, it's worth doing your due diligence on the specification and what energy-saving features it might have. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you liked this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.